YouTube and welcome back to Goal Line Hockey. It's your boy Kevin Forte and today we're going to take a look at the year that could have been for the New Jersey Devils. And you know, it's been a rough season for the Devils and their fans. The combination of lack of goal scoring and lack of good defense or lack of scoring and lack of good goaltending um, has kind of, you know, reared its ugly head for the New Jersey Devils this season. We're going to talk about the Devils in today's video. Um, yeah, so for the Devils, um, yeah, this is frustrating because this is a missed opportunity. You know, it kind of seems like there's a third spot in the Metropolitan Division right now, and it's a gaping hole for whoever wants it, whether it's, you know, whether it's the Islanders or the Flyers. Um, but it doesn't seem like, it, it just doesn't seem like the Devils are, it's in the cards for them this season. You know, there's a team looking at, you know, looking at where the Devils have been, um, you know, there's a team that you just expected more from, right? You know, they're scoring goals at a pretty decent rate, right? Top half of the league. But then you see the goals against, right? And they're just giving up too many goals. And a really interesting thing to look at here is, you know, the way they've been playing in this road trip here recently against Arizona, against Vegas, uh, it just has not been kind to this team. And, you know, another interesting storyline to look at is, you know, the Travis Green situation. He's he's two and five in his first seven games with the Devils. And, you know, you were hoping that maybe that could be kind of a, a something that could jumpstart this season for the New Jersey Devils down the stretch and kind of a, you know, a last gasp of air. But it just does not seem like things are going to go their way this year. And, you know, you really look at this stretch here. Um, this is where the Devils kind of lost um, this current season. And, you know, it, it sucks to say, but that's kind of where things have been for the Devils. So right here, let's take a look. Yeah, so let's go back to this game, right? This was a game. Uh, they started that road trip back in the beginning of this month in March. And that's really where things fell off. They had a three-game losing skid against Anaheim, LA, and Florida. And that really was kind of the nail in the coffin for them. And, you know, you look at some of those games and what could have been. And they didn't, the combination of, right, like you look at some games, right, like the Florida game, they scored three goals in that game, but they gave up five. They scored three against Anaheim, but they gave up four. And, that's kind of a continuing theme for this team. Very rarely, other than the Dallas game where they beat them 6-2, to two, really every other game other than that, they've been giving up at least three or four goals a game. And that's just not going to work. And you look at the games, right? The win against St. Louis, a 4-1 to one win. The game against Dallas, a 6-2 to two win. But you see the games, every other game other than that, where they've given up three, four, five goals... They lose those games, right? And you do the math. If you give up more goals than you score, you're typically not going to win those games. And that's been the situation for the Devils all season long. Is you know even some games where they do score a couple goals, like we saw here in this stretch, they'll score two or three goals, which isn't great, but it's not terrible. They're not getting shut out. But then they give up four or five goals, and it doesn't matter if they scored three. If they give up four, right? That's that's how hockey works. So it's just been the combination of just. You know, not consistent goal scoring, not consistent defense and goaltending, and that's really been the, the crux of the season for the Devils and, you know, ultimately led to Lindy Ruff getting fired. You know, you were hoping maybe Travis Green could turn this team around. It just hasn't worked. And I think the biggest problem for this team, and we haven't seen it necessarily here this week, I think Jake Allen has actually been a bright spot for the Devils during this recent skid on the West Coast, but... It's just too little too late for the Devils. And, you know, you kind of wonder going into the offseason, what could they maybe be looking for? They definitely need a 1A goalie. Um, I wouldn't even go with that. I would even say, like, there are some bigger names out there, like Markstrom. I mean, UC Soros is obviously the one that you really should be looking at. But I think the Devils need to go out and get a number one goalie this summer. That is their key thing, right? They've got some decent defensemen. They've got some decent forwards. You'd like to add a top scoring forward, right? But, you know, you kind of have Timo Meyer, and you're hoping he'll be better next season. That's kind of what you're looking at there. So it's just a tough spot right now for the Devils. And like I said, this is a team that had such a great opportunity in 2024. I remember in my preseason rankings, it was going to be the Rangers, the Devils, and the Hurricanes, top three in the division. You know, two of those three teams are there. The one team that's not is the Devils. 
And it could be the lack of maturity for the Devils, sure. There's still a lot of young players on this team, right? Let's not forget, you know, most of this roster is made up of guys that are, you know, 20 or younger. So, you know, when you take that into consideration, yeah, things kind of suck for the Devils this year, but there are going to be growing pains for this team. They are not there yet. And you look at kind of where this team has been throughout the season, right? They've, you know, they kind of started off the season good and things were going okay and this and that. But then they just had a couple beatdowns here in December. They kind of turned it around a little bit. The All-Star break was probably a good thing for them. You're hoping maybe they could get back on track, you know, back into back into February and March. And it just never really happened. It just wasn't consistent enough. And that's kind of why we find them where they are right now. So looking at their top point producers, I mean, look at this team, right? This is, these are the guys you would expect to be there for the most part, right? You've got Jesper Bratt, Jack Hughes, Nico Heischer, Timo Meyer. Just, you know, you were expecting more from Timo, and hopefully he gets better next season. Luke Hughes having a great first season, full season with the Devils. Um, you know, Eric Howla is doing what you should expect from him. Dawson Mercer fell off from where he was last year. You're hoping for a little bit more from Alexander Holtz. Like, there's a couple guys that aren't completely pulling their weight, but I wouldn't necessarily say that that's the reason the Devils have struggled this year. It's it's the combination of not scoring enough from some of their top guys and not getting enough good goaltending. And I think if the Devils can fix their goaltending issues, I think that is if there's one thing that you absolutely have to address this season, you'd love to add another score. You'd like to add some more grit and size to this team. I think that's something that, you know, the Devils have kind of fallen away from under Tom Fitzgerald is going away from those kind of pain in the ass guys. They need to add more of that to the lineup because you're just not going to see that from guys like Jack Hughes and Nico Heischer and and Dawson Mercer, yeah, Timo Meyer adds that a little bit, but he's just kind of having a down year in general, so you can't completely rely on him for that. So the Devils need to focus on getting back to that a little bit. And I'm not saying you have to overhaul the team and add a bunch of goons to the bottom six, but you got to have some guys in there that can kind of make things tough on the opponent, and I just don't think we've seen enough of that. And especially the defense, that's been an issue, because... You know, John Marino, Dougie Hamilton, Jonas Siegenthal are slightly, but those guys are not big, tough guys. They need a tough guy on the blue line. I know they've got Kevin Ball, but he, too, has also kind of struggled this season as well. It's just been one of those years for the Devils. I wouldn't look too far into it. You know, like I said, there's a lot of younger players on this team that still are maturing, still growing. And yes, you do have the Andre Palats. Yes, you have the Timo Myers. But overall the general core and makeup of this team is still young and if they could fix a good if they could put a good goalie in there their special teams has been fairly good this year their power play and penalty kill right in the middle of the pack right so no real issues there it's just some little things that need to get corrected and I think honestly Lindy Ruff didn't get a fair shake because if the Devils had added a true number one goalie I think Lindy Ruff would still be there in New Jersey I don't think the issue was him I think it was the lack of a good goalie that ultimately did the Devils in and that's kind of the story of this season. And like I said, there's an, a vacant spot in the Metropolitan Division. And that spot, that top three spots, the Devils should be in that position. And things just didn't work out that way. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. What do you think of the Devils this season? Was it a missed opportunity this year? If you would like to see a new goalie this summer, who would you like to see? Is it Jacob Markstrom? Right, Might be a little bit cheaper of a price. I don't know. The Flames have been pretty adamant that they won't trade him for anything less than a lot. Is it worth just going after UC Soros and giving up the farm for Soros? That might be the alternative, right? Who else could be available in between the pipes this summer that the Devils could be interested in? You know, I think Jake Allen is a great backup goalie. Um, and unfortunately, this might mean the end of, you know, Nico Dawes and Akira Schmidt and some of the other goalies there. But that might be what the Devils have to do here to fix the issue. Because I think that is a, if I want to see this team with a good goalie and where they could possibly be i think this would be a lot different situation so i want to know what you guys think guys as always thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again in the next one peace out guys